You ever wanted to go out and hit balls and you just couldn't find a partner? You called up so-and-so, Tom or, or Julie, and then guess what? They can hit and you're like, I'm hosed, I can't hit. Well, I have a solution for you and it's a ball machine, which is a wonderful tool. There's so many ball machines out there. You see me do videos with my slinger bag, but Spinfire reached out to me to see if I wanted to test out their new Spinfire Pro 2 ball machine. And I absolutely love it. And I want to show you and tell you why I think this ball machine can be an absolute game changer for your game. So let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to talk about or how I'm going to go through this video is just go through the regular kind of things you need to know, technical things. And I'm going to go into depth about why I absolutely love this ball machine now. And it's my basic ball machine of choice now. And you'll probably see me do it pretty much from now on most of my, if not all my videos using this ball machine. So the very first thing is capacity and ease of use. I think this ball machine is great because it's not huge. Basically, you got a handle, it rolls out, it's nice and easy, it's not like huge. And the nice thing about it, it can fit in your car easy, where other ball machines might be a little tough to fit in your car. The other thing is capacity, so it can hold 150 balls. Build quality, very good, and the LCD on the back is amazing because I get this, whenever I do ball machine videos, you're like, hey Kevin, can you tell me your settings? I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to get the settings. Well, guess what? It saves your settings. So all I would have to do is go back to the ball machine, turn it on, and it has the LCD where it shows you each different thing where between the elevation, the spin, all of it's there. And the nice thing is it remembers what you were doing last. So if you're working on something the last time you came out to the court and you wanna work on it again, bingo, no more fumbling around. Now, let's get to some of what I think are <laughs> life-changing to me. Because when you go out and use a ball machine with a lot of ball machines, especially the entry level ball machines, and nothing's wrong with it, I feel like you waste a absolute ton of time. And then what happens is you just settle for it. What I mean by this is that you set the ball machine up, like you're super excited, you shoot a ball out, okay, that looks about right. Then you go to the other side, it's like, ah, oh, shoot, that's not the ball I want. And then you have to run back on the other side and you have to readjust because most ball machines don't give you complete control. They give you a remote that has generally, I would say, on and off, start the ball machine and stop the ball machine, and then oscillation. Uh, and we'll get to talking about oscillation because that's a whole nother level in this ball machine. But the thing I love about this the most is this bad boy right here. When I use the Spinfire Pro 2, I can completely just set it up and completely control everything from here without having to go back and forth. Hey, hold up. I figured instead of just going through the stats of a normal video, why don't I just show you what this thing can do? So this part of this video is gonna show you exactly what it can do. So I have it set up on the other side and I'm gonna show you the power of having the remote. So I have it set up, I fired one ball out just to make it sure it's straight. And like I said, you push the button, you hear a little beep, I'm gonna say fire, boom, and instantly I get tennis balls. Now, no waiting. Now what I love about this, I'm gonna stop it after this one. Let's say, you want to work on your forehand. Oh shoot, I have to go to the other side, don't I? I switch it, no you don't. So what I'm gonna do is just go boop, boop, two taps, fires, and you can already see how it's hitting with more forehands. Now if I wanted to go wider, I can hit one more time, hopefully I won't hit the camera, but boom, you can see how much wider it takes me to hit a forehand, okay? And so I can go from here, just hit reset if I want, boom, it resets and realigns to the middle and go, hey, I wanna hit some backhands. Boom, boom, ooh, that might be a wide one. So again, from here, backhands. Now, let's say I want a little wider, just press the button one more time. And so, you can see it's going a little bit wider and I'm getting backhands. Now, let's say, let's reset it again Hey, you know what? I really want to work on my movement. <laughs> Don't we all? But I really want to work on my movement side to side. So instead of thinking, oh, let's just oscillate and have it throw me one here, 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 I'm going to set up a two ball pattern. So the nice thing, it has three different levels. It has where it's just going to hit me a forehand and backhand. Then it has where it moves me a little bit more medium. And then it has really wide. We're just going to do the first two. So I'm going to set it up. I hear it. Fire. So I'm going to get my forehand. Okay. And then I'm going to backhand. Now, if I hit it one more time, it's going to now, you see me having to move a little bit more. And so it's really nice because this is an easy way. Work on that racket face. Ooh, got too close there. This is an easy way to do a two-line drill. Now, I'll reset it again. 
The other nice feature it has is where it can adjust randomly the depth, which is, which is so amazing because when you play a tennis match, you want the ball machine to try to simulate that, and most ball machines just fire you the same ball all the time. So if I hit boom and fire, I get that normal looking ball, and then I get a ball this deeper, which makes me have to adjust. Oh, that's another one that's deeper, which makes me have to adjust. Oh, there's my normal one. And so you can see that function, awesome. And so you do have the horizontal setting that'll start throwing in random balls. So you can see how powerful this is. And I haven't even touched where basically how I can either add spin or decrease spin, increase the speed or the interval all from this side without going to the other side of that. You can see how I'm doing all of this without even having to adjust anything. Another really cool function, because I love the reset button to get you back on track, is the snooze function. Meaning that, let's say I gotta go pick up balls now. Well, I don't wanna leave the ball machine running because you know, I'm on battery power, unless you're on the AC, but I wanna make sure I save some power. So if I hit this, it'll power the machine down where it, it starts to save some of the uh, battery power. So it can elongate your sessions on court. Now, let's talk about the other things, like battery life. Are you gonna be worried about battery life? No, I used this for three hours solid and it was good to go around, I think of like three and a half hours. Then it started to give me like the beeping of like, oh, it's low. Another nice thing on the back, it gives you a readout of where you are with power. So like if you go out and you're like, oh shoot, I don't have that much power, make sure I have a short practice or you just charge it. Now, when we talk about battery options, there's three different options. One is like I have the internal battery, which is awesome. You take it out, boom, you just get going. You actually have the option of an external battery. So you could have an extra battery that you just plug into the back of it. And then you have the option of an AC adapter, which is awesome because you just plug it in. So you have any different variety of things. The charger that I have charges the ball machine faster. So within four hours, it'll be fully charged again, which is absolutely awesome. So now let's talk about the cons of the Spinfire Pro 2, because there are a couple of cons. The first, I think, and probably for me, the only major con is the price. So if you look at comparable entry-level ball machines, let's say a Slinger like I have or was using before, just the base model is $699. But if you do want oscillation, which if you're comparing, semi-comparing it, uh, that would be an extra, I think, 100 bucks. So you can get a deal for it's $799 and you get like a little ball machine hopper and stuff like that. Um, the Spinfire Pro 2 is $2,399. So it's almost three times as much. Now here's the deal. In the beginning, if I hadn't used the ball machine and didn't realize how stinking awesome this is, it'd just be on the side and be like boop, 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 and change to get whatever I want without having to run over and kind of reset and run over and reset, then I would have never realized the value of my time. And so if I had known how convenient this makes using the ball machine, I would have probably saved up to get a Spinfire Pro 2 versus a Slinger. Not that the Slinger is a bad bag, I actually love the Slinger, but for convenience of time, if I need to go out and I just wanna do something for an hour, but do a couple things and not have to worry about setting it up and like, okay, readjusting this, this is an absolute game changer. It still is a bit of a premium, but it's an absolute game changer. And like I said, you will be seeing me use this ball machine so much now because it's so convenient. And if you don't believe me, make sure you go watch this video because I'm using this ball machine, using the remote while I'm talking to you to change settings and do different things so you can see how convenient it is. And don't forget, I will be doing a comparison between the Slinger and the Spinfire Pro 2, showing you the differences and kind of going into it and we'll, we'll do some drills while we're at it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about.